I stopped reading my Bible. You heard that right. I stopped reading my Bible and it actually changed my life and it can change yours too. It wasn't that long ago that I went through the 30 day shred, a Bible plan to read the entire Bible in 30 days. And what I learned was there's a beauty to seeing all of scripture in one large brush stroke. However, in doing that, there's also moments where you need to slow down. You have to study the passage more to understand what it actually means. Reading the Bible and studying the Bible are two different things. So I stopped reading it and started studying it. Now you might be thinking, is there really that big of a difference between reading and studying? Isn't reading enough? After all, my pastor says all the time that I should be reading my Bible. Is he wrong? No, not really. But reading is not enough. When we study the word of God, we go deep into the passage. We learn what it really means. We internalize the scripture. We meditate on the truth about God revealing who we are. All of that happens in our study of scripture. And because of all that, it sticks with us. You'd be amazed once you start studying scripture, how in your daily life, the passages that you've been studying start to just come up in your conversations. They start to just come up in the way that you think and the way that you act, the way that you approach others, because it's ingrained in you deeper than just a Bible reading. In Psalm 1 verse 2, here's what the psalmist says, talking about the way of the righteous, but his delight is in the law of Yahweh and his law. He meditates day and night and he will be like a tree firmly planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and out and its leaf does not wither and whatever he does, he prospers. And so this idea of meditating on God's word is much more than just reading a verse or just more than reading a verse and then sitting there and thinking about that verse. It's something that's deeper than that. It's going to stick with you more than that. And I would argue that what the psalmist is talking about is more than just what we think of when we think of the word meditate. This isn't sitting down in a nice comfy chair with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just thinking about the verse. No, this is the work of studying. Why? Because when we dig deep into the text, our roots get firmly planted in what? In the word of God. And so that we will be like that tree planted by the streams of water as we study God's word. In Philippians 4, the apostle Paul talks about putting our minds on things that are good and pure. And then he, he says, look at how I've lived and the things that I've taught you. Focus your mind on those things. And so what is he saying? He's saying, live out, focus on, meditate, study all of the teachings of Jesus, because that's what he was passing on. He talks about preaching Christ and him crucified. And so where do we find the teachings of Jesus, the life of Jesus and, and the words of Jesus in the scriptures? And so I'm telling you, I'm begging you, if you want to see life change happen for you in your faith journey, as you approach others, as you talk to others, start studying your Bible. This means not just settling for, oh, here's what I think this verse means for me or to me, instead of asking the much harder question is, what does God mean by this verse or this passage? That will take more time, more energy, but it will yield greater fruit. Think, think of it like this. Have you ever bumped into your pastor on Friday or Saturday as you're getting ready for church in a few days and he's probably written the sermon already, or at least it's, it's formulated and he's going through those last parts. What happens in that conversation? More often than not, something about church on Sunday and the passage he's preaching will come up. Why? Because he's been spending time all week in that passage. He's been spending time opening commentaries, looking at the original languages, going to the cross references, seeing what other texts of scripture say about that text, all to what? Help explain the meaning of the text. And so when you're doing that, it's very natural that that will come out in the way you talk. So don't beat yourself up if you haven't read your Bible today, if you haven't checked that check mark. Instead, Ask yourself this question. When was the last time I studied scripture? I studied the word 
of God. Hold yourself accountable to that standard and you will see your life change. If you're wondering about how to go about that, where do I start? How do I study? Take a look at this video. Check it out right here where I walk through the way that I approach studying God's word. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much. Peace.